Well, good morning. You join me on a nice spring morning, and I'm just heading to another lake that is on my syndicate of the four lakes. I have never fished this lake. I have never been to the lake. It is the very first lake that the Carp Society over here opened, and they have split it into two lakes, the front lake and the back lake. This morning we're heading to the front lake, which has recently been restocked with a lot of fish, um, and it's sort of a mini, somewhat runs water in a way, and I've just thought I'd do a different bit. It's a slight runs water of a way, and I just thought I'd head here to try something a bit different. I'm only out on the day session, um, so let's see what comes of the day, and I'll keep you posted along the way. Well, I'm out for another day session and here I am at uh, Nykast Mill Lodge uh, Front Lake and this lake has been stocked with a load of fish. It's become sort of a bit of a runs water though it hasn't been fished much since the latest stocking. So I thought just with a couple of hours uh, of the day free rather than bivvying up and whatever uh, time constraint wise I would just come down and I would uh, chuck a couple of bags to likely looking spots and hope for the best. So over the next couple of hours, I'm gonna document what I do here. I've never been here before. I've never been and fished either of the lakes, even though this is the Carp Society here, very first lake that was stocked. It's now split into two uh, lakes. There is the front lake here with the smaller fish and then the back lake, which is more the, the specy lake. So um, I'm not really sure what they expect, but We'll keep flicking a bit of bait out and positioning the rigs and maybe what with one rod what i'll do is flick it towards showing fish and see what happens but uh i'll keep you posted Small mirror, about what, seven, eight pound. Um, bag was only cast a matter of two or three minutes and the rod absolutely ramped off. And I must say, the fish in this lake fight like nothing else. I thought it was a far bigger fish. I'm gonna slip it back, get the rod back out and hopefully there's time for something else. Well, I'm not sure how much of the fight or, or what I got there. It was all frantic and I was more interested in just getting the fish back. But I mean, that rod was literally in the water five minutes. I had seen a fish show twice from the spot. So I decided to get that little uh, mesh bag of essential cell crumb and flick it with a 12 mil pop up just on the fish's head. The rod was on the rest. I was doing some tidying it up and no sooner uh, that I'd forgot about what was going on, the rod one-toned. And I mean, the, the, the rod tip bent right round, which is really surprising. I mean, this wouldn't usually be my style of, of fishing, coming down to somewhere like this. But to be honest, with the size of that fish and the fact that you could be bivvied up for a couple of nights, you can't grumble at that. I mean, the quality of the fish was outstanding. There wasn't a mark on the mouth. Um, and hopefully from the video you got to see, I, I treated it with the, the Steri 7 just to um, put it on the hook hole, but the mouth was in, in, in very good nick. Chances are that fish hasn't been caught before. 
and could have been one of the, the newer stocked fish. I'm not sure to what size the, the, the latest fish were stocked, but to get that fish to about seven pound, you can't grumble. I couldn't be bothered weighing it, to be honest, um, just with the size of the fish. If I get something that looks close to double figures, I'll stick it on the scale just to see what it goes for uh, curiosity, but who can complain? What I'll do is I'll give the left hand the middle rod another 15, 20 minutes on the spots. If nothing, I will move them. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to continue to watch to see if anything shows uh, over the next 15 to 20 minutes. And if I see something, I have a couple of bags knocked up here ready to go to land straight on the fish's head. <laughs> Well, I just thought while I was out and about, um, I would show you what I'm using on this session. I'm using the uh, Okuma T-Rex 7000 reels, the Prologic K3 pod, which is a brilliant full carbon versatile pod. And to match that, I've got the K3 uh, alarms, which are a real stylish uh, cylinder alarm. And they've been really, really, really sensitive today with the fish bite, with the fish runs. And to match that, I have the K3 uh, bobbins there as well. So it's all a full carbon setup from the alarms to the pod to the bobbins. So it's a really tardy looking setup. Well then folks, a bit, of a bit of action for the middle rod. Again, recast after seeing a couple of showing fish. And lo and behold, this lovely uh, mirror here, but again, an absolutely colossal scrap so really pleased with that unfortunately i didn't get any of the fight um i was on the phone at the time sorting out something with the bank and i had to stay on on loudspeaker so i didn't get a chance to lift the uh camera to do so but what a cracking fish pristine and a really lovely looking um, mirror i'll just show you the other side it's very similar i think the side i showed you was a bit nicer but there she is on the other side happy days just great to be out and again this is just a day session there's people all around the country uh blanking you could come somewhere like this and be on the fish um i'll be back for sure well nothing more to report i've had those two fish the wind has picked up a bit i've just put the three rods back on the three different spots as nothing's happened in about half an hour 35 minutes so uh I'll give it another bit of time and we'll see what happens. Just a short update, uh, I had the rods, two of them in, and I had them packed onto the barrow, and I was about to head down to another peg to the right hand side of me, and the middle rod, the one that I left, because I was getting the odd liner, uh, tore off, and I uh, got it about three quarters of the way across, and then uh, I suffered a hook pull. So I decided just to put out three fresh bags, put that middle rod back onto the spot, and swap the other two rods to other spots, just to see what's happening. Um, it may work out in my favor, it may not. We'll just have to wait to see what happens over the coming few hours. Just went at lunchtime, 12 o'clock. I'm gonna give it a couple of another hour, a couple of more hours, and see if I can get another couple of runs under my belt. But it's been a fantastic uh, day session. The weather has been absolutely hammering the wind right across the lake. You can probably hear it in the background there. This is on the Northern Ireland Carps Angler Society uh, Lake Mill Lodge in Dromore. It's the front lake, which they've done up as a bit of a runs water, which is a cracking sort of place if you want to bring kids or whatever. It's really accessible for the likes of that, short casting uh, stuff. I am really shocked that in, in, in two and a bit years, 
I haven't come down here before. Um, I literally thought, oh, it's, it's, it's not for me, and I have other places on my doorstep. Um, I have to say, I have thoroughly enjoyed the day so far, and I will be back. Um, it's a handy one because you can travel light, put a few rods, um, a backpack and a chair, your net, and just kind of walk around the lake and look for fish. Now, if I wasn't doing bits to the camera, I'd probably be a bit more mobile. That has slowed me down more than usual, but it's just good to be out. I could be sitting on one of the, the, the main venues for a couple of days with nothing to my, to my name, where I've dropped on here and within a, 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 the space of half an hour, I had a nice sort of seven, eight pound fish under my belt.